Ask Reddit by One Sided. What's something that changed disappeared because of COVID that still hasn't returned? Sense of time is fucked up. Like if I skip 3 years of my life. I went from being pretty close to approximating when a past event happened to having no clue now. That happened last year, no wait, 6 years ago? Whatever. Time got wibbly wobbly. We are experiencing higher than normal call volume. The wait time at your local emergency department is 4h53 minutes, are you sure you need to be here? My social battery. I don't know what happened I was literally going to a music festival once every 2-3 months, multiple music shows, hanging out with friends and going out camping, partying, etc. Now, me and my wife just kind of sit at home and maybe go out to a park or do some hiking and every once in a while go out to a board game night. We went to a couple music shows and I just felt like what am I doing here, I'd rather be on the couch. But then when I am home, I feel guilty like I should be out enjoying life but have no motivation or I guess pull to do anything. Frankly it's been miserable. Direct delivery from restaurants. Everything is now being funneled through DoorDash, Uber Eats, ETC. I just wanna call the Chinese place and order delivery at a normal price, like the old days. The food always arrived and was usually what you ordered too. With DoorDash, it's often wrong and sometimes it never shows up at all. And getting your money refunded is like pulling teeth. I'm a public high school teacher and students' attention spans are still very short relative to before. University students too. My students can't sit through a lecture anymore without talking to the person next to them not just 1-2 students but a lot of them that never used to happen, except maybe once a term, and used to stop as soon as I made eye contact or, at worst, if they didn't get the message. Ask them directly to pipe down now a little conversations pop up across the lecture theater all class even after I tell them to stop the chatter. It's like they can't help themselves, they don't know how to aren't trained to behave in an educational setting anymore. House prices seem like they'll be forever unattainable now. The fact that they continue to rise in many markets is the one that gets me. We could accept 2020's huge run up as an aberration 2021 maybe even still. Finally, in 2022, there appeared to be a slowdown in the meteoric rise 2023 appears to be tracking the trend to rise again, but we're only 4 months in, height of selling season, so we'll get another look as the year goes by. Me giving a shit about my career. Me giving a shit. I just don't really care anymore. Edit, lots of updates. I wanted to stress I wish I cared. So much is falling apart and the apathy is overwhelming. If it wasn't for my good girl papa, I don't know if I'd get up on days off. 24 hour Walmart. I've worked nights for years and Walmart at 3am is no longer an option, at least nowhere near my house. I used to do all my shopping at Walmart and Kroger's at 2 or 3 a.m., and I loved it so. Lots of box dodging, but no people, and short lines, if any. There was a wonderful hobby shop in the town I live in. Sold RC vehicles, high quality model kits, supplies, model train stuff, hosted MTG tournaments, Warhammer, etc. Really, really nice place. It was run by the nicest guy and some of his friends. It's gone now. Makes me really sad. I bought all my hobby stuff from him. Now I have to either drive 2 hours if I want to buy from a locally owned store, or I need to buy from online. That's the worst. Those places are such bright spots but they usually are only moderately successful in the best of times. There was one around the corner from where I grew up that I visited a lot. But the owner wound up having to close because the landlord decided to be a dick about demanding rent early or something like that. It's been a while so I can't remember. 24 hour stores and restaurants. There are probably way less than half as there used to be. 
I didn't realize they hadn't returned until I spent hours driving around looking for medicine for my son at 1 a.m. People's patience. Yes. I work in a pharmacy and people, hate to say it, but normally old people, will come in and ask for a refill on a medication they've been on for years. We'll say it'll be a wait and they'll damn near flip the counter over. But I'm out. It doesn't take that long to put pills in a bottle. Then I say that's why we ask for a 48 hour notice prior to you running out. There's people waiting for urgent medication ahead of you. We'll fill yours when we get to it. I'm going to report you. I can die without my medicines. Welp another 40 minute prop won't kill you. You'll receive a text message when it's ready. Cool hobbies that people picked up got left behind due to people going back to the normal life of working and working and working in traffic. So many lost sourdough starters. Edit, I just want to say how much I appreciate the creative names you all gave your sourdough starters, may they rest in peace. My business of 17 years. I'm still working on getting over it. I had no idea that I would grieve it. I think of people who ripped off the COVID relief funds and when I hear of people who went through real problems makes me rage. My wife's business was on life support for almost a year, those funds plus the generosity of her office landlord who gave her a temporary discount on rent were the only things that kept it afloat. Affordable rent. Deleted. We are experiencing higher than normal wait times. Yeah right, you just didn't rehire the same amount of people you laid off. Now it doesn't matter when you call, you're looking at a multi-hour wait. Businesses have also been saying that same message for the last 3 years, it's a normal wait time now. Fuck, call the moment the lines open and you get this recording. My insomniac ass being able to do my grocery shopping at 4am. Covid gave me insomnia I haven't slept good since school sent us teachers home. I was always out when my head hit the pillow, then suddenly at best 4 hours a night with at least twice a week no sleep. People's mental health. Absolutely. Since the start of Covid, I've noticed a huge uptick in people getting angry at the smallest things. Not just online but also in real life. At one point, I remember literally making every single person angry. Everyone I met. Even saying thanks to someone got a snippy response. I had never seen that before Covid. It made me go like, is everyone, like, okay? I think we are seeing that people are still very angry about things right now, even very trivial things. Edit, I don't think we can blame it on us politics. I'm not in the US but the same thing is happening here. My desire to interact WPPL it's gone. Same. I've gotten far too comfortable with being alone in my house. All day breakfast at McDonald's. Thanks for reminding me. Now I'm mad again. Being back the steak McSkeleton steak and egg bagel while we're at it. Stores still close too early. Hard to get a pizza after 10 p.m. sometimes. Hard to even just run errands after work in general. The malls and majority of stores around me still have covered hours, 10 a.m. 7 p.m., so I'm sold trying to get anything when I get off work at 6.30 during the week. Tip function on every debit machine. Like McDonald's or Booster Juice. Would you like to round up to prevent child hunger? No, I'd like the multi-billion dollar company known for making mass-produced cheeseburgers to provide some support. My job, in 2020, and then the company altogether, in 2023. My sense that in the end everything will be okay. There it is again, that funny feeling. Being kind. It's like people gave up. I feel like the majority of the population not driving during lockdown completely forgot how to drive during that time and have still not managed to remember the basics yet. My daily commute is infuriating. 
my sanity and damp, grandma. I'm sorry. 24 hour diners. Edit, I'm an NY and the nearest Waffle House is 100 miles away so that's not a possibility. Thankfully my local one stayed 24 hours. The dollar store. Now it's the dollar and amp. 25 cents store. In Canada our main dollar store, Delarima, is now selling items up to $5. They also mostly replace their cashiers with self-checkouts. They have recorded record profits this year because no one can afford to shop at a regular store anymore. Basic manners and emotional regulation maturity. Normal priced goods. There's an underlying hopelessness that I feel almost everyone shares right now. The way people were acting during the height of it seems like it's irreversible psychological social damage that never had us coming together as a society. Even people of faith seem to be concerned. Covid completely shattered my worldview and my faith in my country, and humans in general. Working in healthcare throughout it didn't help. I had a mental breakdown in 2021, and Covid wasn't the only factor in that, but it was a big component. I am doing better, but I am still working through the trauma of that time, and I don't think my faith in other people will ever recover. I am certainly a different person now than I was in 2019. Paperwork. Everything is PDF and e-signed now. I don't even see the people I used to get signatures from. But, as an it person, printers can take a long walk off a very short pier. Honestly? People's manners and their reasonableness. I work retail. And the average person has become significantly more needy, entitled, and angry over the last three years. It's sad. I was just talking about this with my co-workers. I can't even theorize why it was but ever since the pandemic people have felt much more comfortable being absolutely belittling and rude. Supplantation. Yeah, we're still annoyed that sweet tomatoes went under. There's really nothing else like it. And it was one of the very few places we could actually get our picky kids to eat something. Most Mars used to be 24 hours. Seems like people have forgotten how to drive properly. Just this week, some dumb fuck did a left on red at an intersection while I'm going through a green light and nearly t-bones me. And the number of people driving with brights on in the middle of town. Today was the first time I've had to drive at night in a while and it seemed like almost everyone had their frickin' bright lights on, no matter if there was oncoming traffic, someone in front of them or anything. So, I guess I miss considerate drivers. I'm shocked it's not already listed, which makes me think I might be wrong, but it sure seems like Amazon's two-day shipping changed to hopefully within a week shipping with Prime during Covid. I get logistics are tough, but that's what really sold me on the service before. I got things from Amazon faster during the pandemic than I do now, it's terrible. The ability to not get angry at everything that happens. It's like COVID just made people justify every inner hate and messed up desire that they have. Nowhere I go has dressing rooms you can actually use to try on clothes anymore. Yeah, we went to Burlington the other day. They had dressing rooms, but it was just like this little box in the front of the store, and they had electric locks and we couldn't use them because they were messed up. But there were perfectly fine dressing rooms still in the back, we just weren't allowed to use them. We ended up buying like two of the like 10-12 items split between the three of us, can't afford to pay for something I don't know will fit so I just won't buy it in the first place. Snow days. I was pleasantly surprised this past winter, when my kids school was closed due to fear of an ice storm, they announced they would not be doing online classes. Not sure if it's everywhere, but in Oregon, Goodwill no longer lets you use their dressing rooms to try clothes on before buying. Then they made their return policy so you could only get a store credit instead of a refund. What's spent at Goodwill, stays with Goodwill. 
hotel cleaning service. They all still have signs up that say they aren't doing daily cleanings unless requested to keep staff safe. Total BS at this point. I don't mind not getting full service every day, but my last hotel stay was over a week and I had to take out my own trash and beg for clean towels. Affordability rent is ridiculous groceries are ridiculous gas is ridiculous my student loan payment will be 200% higher than what it was pre-pandemic eating out is expensive, plus so many restaurants are adding on surcharges that you pay in addition to the tip concert tickets are ridiculous capitalism is grinding us all into the ground. Don't forget the subscription based payment models everyone is turning to to steadily bleed us dry. The value of a dollar. Everything went from the dollar menu to the value menu and is at least double what it used to be. Hope for the future. We thought we hit bottom with the pandemic, but everything kept getting worse. A lot of places that had self-served things. Like a salsa bar, salad bar, self-served bread. Common sense. People just seem to have forgotten how to behave and lost the ability to apply reason and logic on a daily basis. It's just bizarre. My mother, a very smart woman with no family history of mental decline, left the candle lighters on the stove. My professor is a genius neuroscientist and he leaves his coffee near all the toxic chemicals and once smelled ammonia on purpose before saying don't smell that. What's going on? Driving ability. I agree. It's gotten so much worse. Straddling the double yellow everywhere, even less blinkers and always leaving their brights on. Human empathy. City nightlife. WTF happened? Since the pandemic, cities that didn't sleep i.e. Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, etc. are going to sleep at 9 to 10 p.m. What gives? That and Tim's roll up the rim. App only. No more drooly ripped up lead rims to collect anymore. Lol.